I don't know if you can see the huge stack of books that I have right here, but this is a haul and it's gonna be really long, so just let's just get started. First of all, I got volume two and volume three of Pokemon. Um, I'm currently reading it and I'm not really enjoying it, <laughs> if I'm honest, but yeah, I got these two off of thrift books and yeah, they follow the story of a kid from middle school who wants to become a, a manga uh, writer well not a manga writer but a manga creator he wants to draw them so yeah he teams up with this other guy who actually wants to be a manga writer and yeah they create manga that's the story <laughs> then i got uh two jane austen books i got North northanger abbey and pride and prejudice um yeah also off of third books and again i don't know if you saw my last video i really like these editions so i got them in this edition again so that I, they can all just match and yeah i'm really excited i already read part and prejudice i have not read north and abbey so yeah we'll see then i got wayfair by alexander bracken i read the first book uh last year and I got the second one because I really wanted to just finish the series. This is a duology. Here's the thing, I DNF'd it. Um, I don't know if I will be able to finish it, but I'm gonna try. Try to finish it, just not for now. Um, but basically, this is a the first book follows Etta. She plays the violin and she's very talented at it. And yeah, she then discovers that her family uh, is a family of time travelers, so yeah, it's really good. The plot is really good, the writing not so much, but yeah, I got this as well. Then I got this book, which is the poems of Julia de Burgos. She is a just a Puerto Rican uh, female poet and yeah, she's amazing. I love her. Her story is a bit tragic and she's not very well known and But I love her. I love her poems. So yeah, here it is. It's just a many 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 poems in Spanish and I was looking for this book everywhere. I couldn't find it I finally did and I am really happy with it Then we have the Lord of the Rings the first book which is the fellowship of the ring I haven't even seen the movies, uh, so I don't really know what this is about. I have heard a lot of it about it, but n I don't really know the story. So I am really excited to read the books and then see the movies because they're really, really just acclaimed. J.R.R. Tolkien is one of the authors that inspired George R. R. Martin in writing Game of Thrones. So. Yeah, I'm really excited to read this. Then I have an arc, which is If You're Out There by Katie Lusenheiser. I don't know. Don't know what this book is about. It was gifted to me at a book club. So yeah, it's my first arc, but I think that this book is already out. It came out the third, well, no, the 19th of March. So yeah, you can, I guess you can go buy it if you want to. But again, I don't really know what this is about, but I'm excited to read it. Then I have Crazy Rich Agents by Kevin Aquan. This is just... Who doesn't know about this? I have not read the book. I did watch the movie and I really enjoyed it. So I know that I'm going to enjoy this one. The reason why I'm actually reading it and not just, I don't know, disregarding it is because I really want to read the sequel before the other movie comes out. So yeah, I have to start with this one. Um, but yeah, if you don't know what this is about, it's basically the story of a woman, she, I don't know if she's engaged, but she's about to meet with the family of her boyfriend, and then she finds out that they're basically super, super rich people, and she didn't know at all. Then I have The Warrior Air by Cinda Williams Chima. I have seen Cinda Williams Chima in various interviews and I really like her personality and the way that she just speaks about storytelling. So I really want to read something about her. She has tons of books, 
So I think that I researched and this was the first one that I was supposed to pick up. So I did and it's here and yeah, we'll see how this goes. Then I picked up The Got Less by Ben Peek. I have heard nothing about this book, but I did, I don't remember where I saw it. Someone, a blog post, something like that, someone on Twitter. But yeah, it sounds really amazing. But, but I know that what what captured me was the magic system, which has to do with gods and gods dying. So I'm not sure, but I'm excited to read it because I have not heard anything about it on the booktip community. I don't think that this is a new book at all. This is from, this is from 2014. So yeah. I haven't heard anything and I have been trying to actually pick up more books that are not talked about or that are not New York Times bestsellers because I feel like most of them are New York Times bestsellers and are hyped so yeah this sounds really interesting and I can't wait to actually read it if anyone has read it then go ahead and tell me in the comments if it's good or not and yeah we'll see then i picked up daughter of smoke and bone and days of blood and starlight these two are yeah part of a trilogy i guess and i already read the first one in this month i'm going to be reading the second one because there is a read along going on i think books with chloe is hosting it and little book owl as well there are other YouTubers or booktubers who are also hosting, but I don't know their name, so I will just let you guys know in the, in the description, but yeah. I didn't really like the first one, so we'll see how the second one goes, because again, I want to read it, and I want to finish the series. Then I have The Crowns Game by Evelyn Sky. The thing that uh, just captured my interest about this one is that it sounds a lot like the night circus it's kind of how it kind of has a similar i don't know a vibe to it so yeah i guess this is some kind of magical competition and i know that it's kind of inspired or it takes place in russia so yeah i'm really excited to read it then I have A Curse So Dark and Lonely. I got this last week and I already read it. I loved it. It, I just wanted to read it because it gave me Akatar vibes. And you guys know that I love Akatar. So yeah, it was good. Go pick it up. This just follows, I guess, the story of Harper. So she's basically in our world. She lives in Washington, DC. And then she, some, there's a moment in which she sees a girl being abducted so she decides to do something about it and basically the man ends up taking her and he takes her to Emberfall which is just the world of magic and curses and everything and yeah she has to basically fall in love with the prince in order to break the curse it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling as you can tell and yeah it's good go pick it up then i have wind witch by susan dennard i read the first one i don't remember it much so i have to reread it but yeah i really want to get to this one because blood witch also came out and i just want to be caught up on the series so yeah we really need to read this one and if you don't know truth witch follows the story of safi and is salt and they basically Safi is a truth witch so she can tell if you're lying or not or not and they are very rare so if people find out that Safi is a truth witch they will probably just hunt her down so that they can use her for their own benefit and then Isolt is a threat sister or a threat witch so she can basically see the relationships that people have with others um, and but she cannot see her own so yeah it's very interesting in this world there are various witches so as you can see wind witch it's pretty you know elemental magic isk i guess um and it's really good so just go pick it up 
and last but certainly not least is Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. Lady Midnight was one of my favorite books of last year so I just know that I'm really gonna enjoy this. So yeah, I'm trash for Julian and I really want to know what happens in this book so yes. <laughs> so yeah, that will be all. I want to just comment really quickly that most of these books were from thrift books so yeah i'm not sponsored but what i want to just say or convey is that you can get books for really cheap if you don't have the money or if you're just on a tight budget thrift books is your best friend and uh, yeah i guess that would be all i'm sweating because i don't have my air conditioner on but yeah thank you guys for watching i will see you guys with the next video bye